Okay, we're here for lesson 1.5, adding integers. In order to complete this, you'll need your two page, um, actually, I guess it's three pages, front, back, and a front of lesson 1.5, adding integers. Okay, before we start, we need to recall that the complete set of integers contain the counting numbers, their negative counterparts, and zero. So this is important. All the integers contain the counting numbers, negative counterparts, and zero. Since the set of all integers contain both negative and positives, we're allowed to add those. So what we're going to do here is explore that idea of adding um, negative and positives. Okay. So let's add negative 4 and 6 on the number line. We're going to start down here. Um, I'm going to put zero right there just so we have sort of a reference point right here. Down here, I'll have a negative 4. And to that, I'm going to add 6. So let's go ahead and fill in our negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 up here. Okay. Starting at negative 4, here we go. Let's add 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that brings us all the way to positive 2. So that means negative 4 plus 6 equal positive 2. Okay? Let's try uh, negative 5 and, I'm sorry, positive 5 and negative 2 on the number line. So we'll start up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 5. And then let's put in some negatives too. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Okay. Well, we'll start here at 5, and then let's add a negative 2. Now, remember, negatives mean go in the, the left direction, where positives mean go to the right. So up here in this example, that's why we went to the right, because it was a positive 6. Here, we're going to go to the left because it's a negative 2. So here we go. Start here, 1, 2. And that brings us to a positive 3. That means 5 plus a negative 2 equals 3. Okay, so this is sort of how adding positive and negative integers works. The problem is, is that we cannot always draw a number line <clears throat> whenever we want to solve adding uh, addition problems with negatives and positives. So we need some rules. Flip over. Let's look at our rules. Okay, uh, we're going to add 2 plus 3 on the number line, and everyone knows what that's going to be. Here's 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. So if I add 3 to 2, 1, 2, 3, that brings me to 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. Similarly, on the negative end of that, negative 2 plus a negative 3 is also a negative 5. Notice that this problem is exactly the same as this problem, except for the negative 2 and the negative 3 and the positive 2 and positive 3. So we ended up the same distance away from 0, just in different directions. So here's the rule. When adding integers that have the same sign, either both negative or both positive, all you have to do is take the absolute value of those numbers. Now remember, the absolute value of something like negative 7 is positive 7. But the absolute value of something like 6 is a positive 6. Negatives turn positive, positives stay positive for absolute value. Okay, back to the rule. When you add numbers that have the same signs, take their absolute values, add them, and then put the sign back on that was on the numbers before you took the absolute values. So here's a good example. Um, negative 7 plus a negative 2. Absolute value of these shows us that this will be an addition problem of 7 plus 2, which is 9. But there were negative signs, so this has to be a negative 9. And everyone can relate to this example. 6 plus 3, well, that's also 9. But look, we had positive 6, positive 3, so it has to be positive 9. Okay, so that's pretty much how adding numbers with same signs works. Now, if the signs are different, it becomes a subtraction problem. So watch this. Start with negative 3. 1, 2, 3 in the negative direction. And now I'm going to add to that 1. 
right here. So negative 3 plus 1 equal negative 2. Similarly, on the other side, 3 plus a negative 1 equals positive 2. What you'll notice here is the sign of the answer matches the sign of the bigger number. So the rule here, absolute values, subtract big minus small, and then place the sign on your answer that was on the bigger number. So let's try a real quick example here. How about negative 4 plus 2? Well, absolute value of 4 is negative 4 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. Now, which number here had the bigger sign? The negative 4. That's why this is a negative 2. A counterexample, 8 plus a negative 3, well, we know it's going to be 5. Is it positive or negative 5? Well, it's positive 5 because the bigger number was positive. Let's go to the last page and try a few examples. Here we go. Negative 3 plus 4. Notice that the signs do not match. And since the signs do not match, this is a subtraction problem. So absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Absolute value of 4 is 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. Now we just need to figure out if this is positive or negative 1. The sign on the bigger number was positive. Our answer is positive. Number 2. 5 plus a negative 2. Signs don't match. Subtraction. So let's make, let's make a little uh, note up here. Signs do not match equal subtraction. Signs match equal addition. And of course, absolute values. first. Okay. 5 plus a negative 2. Signs don't match. This is subtraction. So 5 minus 2 is 3. Positive 3 or negative 3? Well, the number that had, the bigger number had a positive symbol, so it's a positive 3. Again, in number 3, signs don't match. 15 plus a negative 4. I guess I don't need to recopy the problem. It's already there. 15 plus a negative 4, 15 minus 4 is 11. I just need to know if this is positive 11 or negative 11. The sign on the bigger number, 15, was positive, so my answer is positive. Here's an example where the signs match. So this is addition. This sign matches this sign. Let's add these two together. 12. 3 plus 9 is 12. But is it negative or positive? Well, it's negative because the sign on both numbers was a negative. One more example. We'll call this number five. Uh, let's try negative six plus two. Notice the signs don't match, so this is subtraction. Six minus two is four. We just need to know if this is negative four or positive four. Sign on the bigger number was negative. So a negative goes on our answer. Okay, if there's anything you missed or any questions, go ahead and rewatch whatever section can help you out. And make sure we have this complete for our next class.